Uh, hi, I'm Kenny Grayson with Cypher Fire Department. This is our 2018 Quantum Pumper. Uh, we just are fixing to take delivery of. Uh, some of the features of it is, uh, is on the front bumper here. We have a, a, a 200 foot, uh, inch and three quarter hose trough. We've put a full cover on it to uh, cover up the uh, inlet um, for us. Um, around the side here is and in the cab, some of the features that we've added in the cab up here is our uh, safety vision uh, drive cams to uh, uh, videotape the, uh, the driver, the occupants in the cab, and what's going on on all four sides of the uh, apparatus. Uh, we've uh, worked with Pierce Engineering to uh, put uh, our EMS compartments in the back. I have them on each side, underneath the uh, center console here, which is a five-man cab, which is three in the back. We have our IT compartment where we carry all of our IT components inside, tucked away, nice and safe. Uh, we've had uh, the engineering department helped us with our hand tool compartment here. We have a special compartment on each side for the uh, firefighters to put their hand tools in so they're not flo uh, loose in the cab. This is our 48 inch uh, pump, pump house. Uh, we have uh, two uh, cross lays up top with a dead lay, three inch dead lay for an apartment lay. And we have our two cross lays down low that we're gonna be carrying our inch and three quarter hose in. We've designed the pump panel to where it flows nice and neat all the way across and it uh, it views all of our uh, pumpers and our ladder trucks are all mimicked identical the same, so the muscle memory is there. We've also added the, uh, the uh, compartment up here to carry our backboards in because we do run combination EMS and fire responses. We have a uh, Wilbert light tower on top, which has the controller mounted right here for convenience for the uh, pump operator to operate it, as well as our tool boards that open up with pack track on front and rear. We've also had in this compartment here, we've done the same thing with the uh, tool board with the pack track, the swings in and out, and back tr pack track on the back wall. Our in, in the fender well uh, air bottle holders, All right, we have up and down trays in our compartment. We've designed the back of the truck. Our firefighters were always concerned that the compartment was too high, so we did an adjustment on our tank, pushed some of the tank forward and up so we could lower the hose bed. We've made a hose bed down to 52 inches. We carry our three inch blitz fire line. We carry five, a uh, thousand feet of five inch and we carry three inch supply line on the back. We've uh, piped it through so we can have it um, pre-plumbed pre and pre-piped ready to go on our blitz fire. Uh, we've added our traffic cone holder here. Um, but our firefighters were concerned about the uh, cones being up on the top in the dunnage area, so we found a location where we can move it down and make it a lot simpler. <clears throat> um, pretty much the same compartment space here with the up and down, in and out compartment, and we have the 500 pound trays on our lower compartment trays. Uh, we have uh, a Harrison 10KW generator, hydraulic generator up top with our cord reel up top with just 200 feet of uh, cord on it. We have our hydraulic ladder rack that comes down, brings our ladders down to us so we don't lose compartment space. We can get the full depth compartments. Uh, 
Again, this is the uh, tool compartment on the, on the side again for the opposite side. Okay, we've added the uh, tank lights to the side of the cab uh, here so the uh, pump operator and the uh, officer in charge when they're working away from the truck can see where we are on the level of the tank. Um, again, I'd like to thank everybody for your time.